highly anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. This man ubiquitously regarded as the top 85er at present. Some people believe this is the greatest middleweight of all time. He certainly does, and he has goals even beyond that. He wants to be one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. And in order to preserve that goal, this is a title defense, simply put, that he's got to have. And now our tail of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Four years apart, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. It's who she first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of six wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Alex Poetai. Now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands 64 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Israel. The last bender out of Sanya. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. It has held Connor versus Khabib. You beat Steve Bay to become the double champ inside these very walls. You getting chills being back tonight, champ? I'm getting chills being back at the T Mobile Arena. I love this venue. And I'm going to tell you one last thing before the fight night starts. After you're done, take a walk outside and take a gander at the side of the building. You can see your boy DC, prominent, a 
<laughs> Prominent up high in the rafters, holding up those two titles. Oh. What a great arena, the T-Mobile Arena. And that Vegas air feels oh. like a hair dryer in your face. <laughs> it's so hot. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Adesanya. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Liver kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. It won't take many of those. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Oh, beautiful strike there by Israel Adesanya. He's got a lifetime in the game, not a lifetime in the game. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfectly. He's got to be careful, dipping his head, so he's throwing that jab. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round, and the damage is really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll, and you watch the opponent. Oh, no! huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. 20 seconds left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's gonna have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that two punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, round two. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. Right punches there. Israel Adesanya's hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. Powerful leg kick land. Oh! He's hurt. Oh! He's out! Holy smokes! Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 37 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Alex Holotov. Well, we are still digesting this result tonight. I barely got a voice but we do have a new UFC middleweight champion of the world. I mean, the roof came off of this place when this guy got the win. He is a great fighter that is now the UFC middleweight champion.